thank you epods chair persons and uh, especially dr gangadhar sundar for giving me this opportunity to uh, see the give you the insight on fiber related injuries and uh, i was just listening to all the talks uh, dr rajiv has already covered part of it and uh, he has emphasized on how important this part is and uh, fiber related injuries are a big number and uh, they are more common during special season or uh, during the festival purposes so these injuries are uh, fireworks are used worldwide for the festive purposes during the new year eve globally and especially in our country during diwali independence day in usa and all the important days uh, throughout in, in the various part of the world uh, during their special uh, occasions so unfortunately this has been associated with various bodily injuries and permanent disabilities and even death ocular trauma contributes to whopping 16 to 31% as per the various studies of total number of firework injuries and firework trauma are a serious public concern as they predominantly affect young males which are in the their productive age group and there are severe devastating and permanent effects on vision cosmesis and professional functioning they can be so devastating and damaging and uh, irreparable loss could be there as you can see in two of these injuries which we can have from our center which we could not do and much and there is a large cornea scleral tear extending to the periphery up to the 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 root of uh, the muscles and beyond and uh, we could repair it but unfortunately we could not save the eye because of the extensive damage in the posterior segment as well another case with the large tear another case which could be managed it takes long time to manage such cases but ultimately if if you can save it the the effort and the energy used during it to maintain it is really heartening and welcome that we feel but many a times it is so devastating and damaging that there is a tissue loss and a loss to the posterior segment optic nerve adenoxal trauma and even if we can manage it for few months the later period of life it is uh, you know, are not sure whether it is uh, of uh, uh, good uh, we can give useful vision to the patient literature review says that uh, in this uh, study which was published in british, british medical journal uh, wherein they have uh, seen the reviewed 26 articles uh, for calculation of uh, trauma incidence and patient demographics out of these 26 articles 17 were reviewed for the to assess the trauma severity and vision loss uh, 77% injured were male 82% young and 47% bystander means almost 50% were bystanders out of this most of the trauma was mild and temporary and penetrating eye trauma globe contusions burns accounted for 18% enucleation rate was hopping 3.9% so much and uh, mean visual acuity was uh, more than 10 by 20 is 56.8% and severe vision loss less than 10 by 200 in 16.4% another study which was from us only and uh, out of 327 patients who had a uh, uh, body trauma the 100 patients were of ocular fireworks injury 40% 41% were younger than 18 and uh, uh, the 48 uh, sorry 54% were within 48 hours of fourth july that is the independence day of us so this is what it is the status and this was uh, 11 years of firework injury study at level 1 trauma center another study during uh, from the another part is that is china clinical analysis of firework related ocular injuries during spring festival in between in 2009 and similar results were there 
uh, observed 25 eyes in 24 patients. Injuries were more frequent in children, males, and open globe injury was 62.5%. More common in rural, rural residents, more common injuries were corneal, scleral, corneal scleral, open globe trauma, that is 60%, traumatic cataract, vitreous hemorrhage, retinal detachment. And uh, the uh, visual outcome showed statistically significant improvement, initial best corrected vision correlated strongly with final best corrected visual acuity. So uh, then uh, when this uh, talk was allocated to me, I studied because recently we had uh, uh, um, Diwali festival in our, in our country. So we studied retrospectively the fireworks injury in just four days of Diwali at our center in 2017 and 18. And we uh, analyzed and we found that 85% of them, we received 20 patients in two years, 12 in 2017 and eight in 2018 in just four days of uh, ocular trauma the, with the cracker blast injury or the firework injury. And 85% of them were less than 20 years of age. And, uh, and they were mostly males. And variety of cases were there. Uh, involving lidic adenexa, anterior segment, and posterior segment. And the final visual outcome, what we can see was not very welcoming and very uh, not very encouraging to us because in uh, almost 35% of these patients, we had vision in, in the category of blindness less than 360 or even no PL uh, in one patient where we have eviscerated the eyes. This is an unusual case which uh, we could um, uh, we could retrieve the uh, can I video can see yeah so uh, this was a case with the firecracker injury blast injury and the child had a foreign body which was embedded in the past plana can we come out of this and see the video, although it was functioning there. <coughs> so we could um, then we could find it out by the UVM and uh, then we planned out with the along with the vitreo retina surgeon, the anterior segment surgeon, we did a cataract surgery and uh, uh, central capsular axis. Then we made a posterior capsular axis and did a limited anterior vitrectomy. Is it playing? Uh, 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 upar rakhte hai. Upar, sorry. Blue wale, no? No, 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 no. Yeah, this one. So uh, we did a, uh, we removed the foreign body from the past plana by doing a limited anterior vitrectomy and uh, held it with the uh, intravitreal forceps and uh, then we removed it through the uh, uh, the paracentesis wound or the main wound if it is okay if it is not working we'll go ahead uh -huh. Uh -huh. foreign body removal this one second one can you make it full screen I think uh, we can skip it. Uh, it's fine. Okay. Uh, yeah. So for this is uh, the foreign body which we, after doing limited anterior vitrectomy, we held it with the uh, the intravitreal forceps. Then we did a vitrectomy again with the vitrector bimanual way so that there should not be any traction, and uh, we removed it through the same wound. It was, uh, th the thing is that in these firecrackers, I don't know how they embed these metallic particles, uh, how they have come, it's a whether it is a potash or something, or some mineral particle, metallic particle, there are fine metallic, metallic particles. Th then another case, uh, which I remember, we operated two years back, he had a firecracker, he is a policeman, uh, so he was a policeman, he had a bi bilateral, firecracker injury for three months he was bilaterally he remained bilaterally blind 
he could not see because only PLPR was there because there was a involvement of adenexia, the lids, then the uh, the cornea scleral wound, melting of the cornea. We did a twice we did keratoplasty in one eye and in the other eye we did a patch graft. And after this patch graft and the glue, when the uh, as uh, our previous speaker was saying that our corneal wound should be made uh, se se uh, secured first. Then we planned for the intravitreal surgery, and there were a lot of potash particles inside the eye, and uh, but we could manage this patient in one eye. The vision we could retrieve after six surgery in that particular eye, and if the vis vision was six by nine, and the other eye there is a three by sixty vision after the whole half of the retina has been damaged by this, and. Uh, the important thing which uh, Dr. Uh, uh, my previous speaker, Dr. Raman, also in emphasized that legislation has got a role in this. In this study, which was published in BJO, wherein they said out of these 13 studies where there were restrictive legislation law, the incidence was less. And in permissive le legislation, where the, there was people were allowed to do the firecracker injury self without uh, taking any uh, help from the professional persons, there the incidence was very, very high. So to conclude, uh, there are now improved implants where uh, the better grafting techniques and inclusion of navigational techniques in oculoplastic surgery, this has improved the outcomes in the adenexal fibroids injury. And a timely referral of the patient to the tertiary center after primary care can salvage some eyes, and a multidisciplinary approach should be adopted to maintain normal anatomy and physiology, and we should go for a stage surgery and improve the anatomy and physiology of the adenexa, ocular surface, cornea, glaucoma, lens, and retina. In case of no hope, measures should be taken to improve cosmetically by appropriate prosthetic devices so that the patient's uh, psychology doesn't is not affected. Firework-related ocular injuries occur mainly in children, males, and are frequently severe and visually devastating. 50% of firework-related ocular injury decreased following a ban of bottle rockets. And in four states in the United States, which have banned the sales of all fireworks, and these states have a lower rate of firework-related injury. And this was found to be the banning of the fireworks was found to be more effective than public education in reducing the incidence of injury. And that should be a strict and restrictive laws on personal use of fireworks for the safety of person handling the fireworks and spectators as well. And we as trauma society, welcome sir, and uh, APOTS, Ocular Trauma Society of India and World of uh, Ophthalmic Society <coughs> should collectively work to ban all fireworks except the supervised public display in all countries. And I invite you to the World Congress of Ocular Trauma, which is going to be held in December 14 and 15 in New Delhi. And uh, it will be really an experience. Please, you all should in, uh, involve actively by sending your papers, your experiences, and participate in this. Thank you. Thank you.